Bruh, why does this not surprise me, given the strange things that be going on with Will and Jada? Well, we finna get into it, but first, intro. Yo, what's good, fam? Bam, it is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to... A reaction video not just any reaction video we are reacting to the art of dialogue now I did mention um, in the Tupac uh, murder case conference video that um, I did a while back that I do follow follow um, Art of dialogue I do enjoy watching his content or their content um, I do enjoy watching the interviews because they interview people that were close to basically Diddy Suge Knight Tupac and Biggie again people that are close to them um, you know, so with, given uh, basically their point of view of, of the events th that occurred um, during the rise of both Pac and Biggie during the uh, time of the big East Coast West Coast war that was going on back in the 90s and um, and the events that immediately followed um, afterwards. So, yeah, I encourage y'all if you're a Tupac fan, if you're a Biggie fan, check out Art of Dialogue's channel. Of course, as I always do, I'll link the video. Uh, in the description down below. So if you guys want to show our dialogue some love, please, by all means, highly encourage y'all to do so. Anyway, uh, getting into this uh, video that my man uh, uploaded, this one being called Jada and Will Smith wanted to sleep with Jennifer Lopez. Did he want to fight Will Smith? You serious? Bruh, as I mentioned in the opening bumper, given with the strange things that are going on between Will, Jada, and Diddy, and what have you, I can't say I'm surprised. I mean, I wouldn't, at this point, I would not put anything past, you know, these people. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into this video, because I believe our dialogue is interviewing Gene Deal. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this thing, fam. But like in the hit, hit. Tell me the story about how Puffy wanted to fight Will Smith over Jennifer Lopez. Oh, man. Oh. Look at this. <laughs> even, even though he was there, even he knows how ridiculous this shit is. <laughs> Let's go. Um, we were at a birthday party that I think either Matt Damien was given for Ben Affleck it was just a little gathering. It was at the Four Seasons. Will Smith and his sister and her husband, we were all sitting on this side of the room. Matt Damien. Uh, not, not to correct you, not to be a, an asshole of Gene Deal, but I mean, it's not Damien, it's Damon. Matt Damon. <laughs> ben Affleck, Jennifer Lopez, Puff, Will Smith. And uh, Jada and it was sitting on the other side of the room. So I know Puff so well that he stood up. When he stood up, what? he walked and like and did his own some, some kind of way like, what? And then he went like this, you know, like and I went over towards him. I know to go over there towards him. So I go over towards him and he said to me, he said, yo, I think Will and Jada is trying to scoop up Jennifer. What? I want you to stay close because I'm going to snuff him. <laughs> oh. So Will Smith and Jada, they were playing with fire back in the day. So this was during a time when uh, Puffy was and J-Lo, they, they were a thing. This was back during, during the early 2000s, if memory serves. I believe, I want to say around two. 2000 2001 ish somewhere around there um yeah because an eminem had put out the marshall mathers lp in 2000 and he he said something in one of his songs about you know diddy and j-lo being together so yeah 2000 it was um <clears throat> but man will smith and jada yo that means that um that when jada said they had an open relationship Technically, she wasn't lying 
because now we have confirmation from Gene Deal, who, according to him, Puffy told him, yo, Will and, and Jada, I think, are trying to pull J-Lo. Man, keep an eye on them, because otherwise I'm going to have to handle that business. And it's funny, see, Puffy was trying to carry himself in a way where he didn't want people to think he was gangster, but eh, his actions kind of dictate otherwise. So, yeah. Man, Diddy's just losing his credibility left and right, isn't he? Damn. Damn. <laughs> I said to myself, Will Smith gonna beat the shit out of you. He said Will Smith will beat the shit out your ass, pup. I mean, to Will's credit, Will's always been a tall guy. I think Will's like, what, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, somewhere around there. And if we're talking early 2000s, I'm pretty sure he did the movie. He did a couple of Bad Boy movies. Oh, no, I think Bad Boy 2 came out a few years later. Um, I have to see when, I have to look up when Ali came out. Because I know Will Smith played Muhammad Ali um, in the biopic for Muhammad Ali. But, uh, I mean, either way, yeah, Will, Will Smith significantly bigger dude he probably would he probably would have took out puff i'm just saying that's funny though. no puff 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 could, puff could scrap now but i don't think he could beat will smith no you know what i'm saying but he could scrap you know what i'm saying so then he said that shit. so i didn't go back over there where um <clears throat> will smith's sister and her husband was i stayed like in the like about if he snuffed Will I could move slow enough that Will could probably get two or three punches back in <laughs> <laughs> yeah but uh, that shit was funny he thought that uh, Jada and Will was coming on too strong to Jennifer making advances yeah and see, I can't say like I, I would put shit like that past Puff. I mean, Puff, you know, sounds like he's coming off of someone who's being extremely paranoid. He was probably always a paranoid dude. I mean, he's probably even more paranoid now. Again, given with the whole um, <clears throat> them solving Tupac's murder and what have you. So, again, I'm not saying Puffy has something to do with it. I'm not saying he didn't have anything to do with it. Um, <clears throat> it's just that, you know, I'm just waiting to see either way, you know. What what happens when um when Keefy D, you know, gives his testimonies and you know, and sings basically, um, but anyhow, man, that's just crazy, man. So what what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Yeah, I mean Will Smith during like the the late nineties, early two thousands, he was known as you know the this, this goofball. He did a lot of, you know, comedic stuff back then. But, I mean, but, again, I mean, you can probably see in the picture of his video lineup where we see uh, Puffy and then Will and Jada. You can see Will Smith. He's a tall dude, I mean. So, and plus, he's from Philly, from Philadelphia. And I know some, some dudes out in Philadelphia, they, they can be some pretty tough dudes. So, I don't know. I'm pretty sure Will Smith can handle himself in, in a fight. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> especially when it comes to Puffy. <laughs> So I can see why G Deal felt the way he did. So I don't know. Feel free to share your thoughts in, in the comment section down below. While you're at, don't forget to do all the YouTube, the other YouTube thing things like share, of course, subscribe. And again, if you guys want to go check out Art of Dialogues um, interview clips as well as full on interview videos, um, I encourage y'all to go click on that link and go check out Art of Dialogues uh, channel. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, all right, y'all. Appreciate everyone uh, hanging out, watching the videos, engaging with the content, subscribing, buying the merch. Yes, don't forget, we got merch, merch in the in the shop. Uh, we got the JJV Do Better merch line. We also got the uh, free DJ24 merch line as well, and as well as the uh, Pure Blood 100 uh, line as well. <clears throat> Shout out to everyone that's been buying merch. Again, appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I think I know everything. So with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV, and y'all take care. Have a blessed one. i catch y'all next one. Peace. <laughs> Will Smith gonna be Puffy's ass. <laughs> Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason JV?
and just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jay-Z, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, Jimmy? I didn't see that. I just want to have the next video. Who's saying what's up, Jimmy? Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, you're sad. If you're sad, you're happy. Uh, don't be too happy. Don't be expecting shit. It's like doing curves all the time. So be ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe. Tap the little bell. Turn on the notifications. And if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah.